Anytone 890 UV, how to select VFO mode. Just go menu, go down to settings, select settings, then radio set. And then go to key and program, key function. One of the buttons, and I've done it on number three, okay, which is the top green button here, but you've got the side ones as well. Program it, select on the short press, we've got VFO memory back. And if we keep going down to the long press, select, we've got analog or digital. So now, if we press the green button, short press, we're going into VFO and memory. So in VFO mode, when it says VFO B, we can actually type a frequency, which is very handy. Okay, and if you press again, we've gone into the memories that we've stored. Now if we long press, we can select, and it, you do. there are four selections, and you only really want the one that's analog or digital. So it will just say A or D, which is long pressing. There's analog. And if you want to put the parameters in, so if you went one, four, five, like I said, 600 again, uh, we just need to make sure we're in press, short press, VFO, one, four, five, 600. Okay, like so. Then to add your channel parameters, just press menu, go down to settings, then select channel, select. And let's go down and add all your parameters. You've got your CT, CSS, but if you're in DMR mode, it does change. You get color codes and time slots, ETC. And that's it. And now you can, without using software, program your Anytone 890. Bye for now. All the best.